Okay, we have had a few requests for a tutorial on making your own like custom magic set symbols for your sets. So you're going to want to start with uh, in your magic set editor in the set where you want to change your set symbol. You can see it starts out default is just a square, which is pretty boring. So go over to the set info tab. And then here next to symbol, you can see this checkerboard that says double click to edit symbol. So we're going to click on that and it's going to pop up with this window. Um, and as you can tell, uh, it's just a square. Um, so this is the square that you know you saw on your card in your set file. And there's a couple different ways you can change it. I mean, you can just like add some shapes. Here's an ellipse. Uh, we could merge them so it's just one unit or we could subtract. Um, you can mess with the points. So do something like that or that. Um, but honestly, I don't feel super qualified to like teach you how to do this part of it. Uh, Cause every time I do, it just kind of ends up looking bad. Now, if you want complete control over what your set symbols look like, this is the way to do it. Um, I'm not very good at it yet. Um, so really just get creative and, um, and work on it um, to get better. But what I can teach you to do is how to find some set symbols and um, you know bring those into your magic set. So um, to that end, we need to go to Google. And I like swords, so um, sword logo. Go to images, and then under tools, color, click transparent. Now that means it's going to be a PNG file, um, so it's not going to mess with um, the set symbol editor when you bring it in. So we just we're looking for something extremely simple like this. Um, so we save this. to our desktop and then go back to your symbol editor, click file, open, and then just go open the file that you just saved. And there it is. Um, generally, it's gonna start out a little too large so you can take the whole thing, downsize it a little bit, move it, and then just click store. Then, when you go back to your magic set, you can see all these different rarities of swords. You go back to here and you can change the rarity and it's, it's just a sword. Um, so the way I do it, you know, you're pretty you know, constricted to what is available online, um, but it's a lot easier. But uh, if you want that more, you know, full creative control, you're gonna have to get a little creative. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, thanks for watching.